Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a quick tutorial on using interstitial ads from AdMob. Uh, I have a previous video about doing banner ads and some people have been asking me for an interstitial ad video which also means uh, full screen ads that pop up. So let's get started. So first you're going to create a new Xcode project. Uh, choose the single view or go into whatever project you started right now. Um, I don't have one, so I'm just going to create one. And this is for Swift, by the way, so this won't work if you're doing Objective-C. So once you have this created, you're going to want to close out of it. Go into your launch pad, open up your terminal. And then you're going to want to uh, type this in. So CD users, then whatever your username is. And then basically go to where your file is or where your project is. So mine is in documents and then uh, development. And then after that, you can see it's an interstitial tutorial. And if there's spaces, you're going to want to have some uh, single quotes in between it. So now I'm in the interstitial tutorial folder, and I'm going to run pod init. If you don't have pods installed, you're going to want to follow a tutorial on how to do that. Just search how to install pods on my computer, and there's a lot of good tutorials on that already, and it's very easy. So once you have that done, go back into this folder and then run pod in it and then it creates a new line there so after that go into your project folder go into your pod file which was newly created and then right under here there is a space to put the pods so the pod you're going to want to use is on the google site and it is google mobile ads sdk so you want to get that and then just paste it right there, save this file and then close it. So now you want to go back into your command line where you left off in the same directory and run pod install. This is going to install the pods into your project. This could take a couple minutes. Okay, so now it's done installing. You can close your terminal. We're not going to need that anymore. And now you're going to see some new files got uh, placed into your folder. From now on, whenever you open your project, do not open the blue one. Only open the white file. If you open the blue one, it will not include the pods or anything. So open this .workspace one, not .xcode project. Always remember that because you can run into a lot of errors if you try to use the other one. So let's open this up. And now we're in here. And basically, we're going to want to go into whatever view controller that you want the ads to show up in. So for me, I want it to show up in the main view controller because that's all I have. For you, it might be a little bit different. So now we're going to import, I think it's Google Mobile Ads. And this will give us all the functions we need to use the ads. Let me just check something. All right, we're all good. So import that. And then after that, all this code is on the Google website. So if you want to copy and paste to make things quicker, uh, you can just go to developers.google.com and go into their interstitial uh, page. So we already imported Google mobile ads. So you're going to want to create an interstitial variable, which is how you're going to access the ad. So that's all good. And then over here, we're going to want to copy this line and put this in the view did load so we can get the info for the interstitial. So you're going to want to replace this string with your own um, ID. This is just like the default one. I think it'll show a test ad, but before you want, before you release your app, 
you want to get your own ID from Google's AdMob site and just copy and paste that in there. It's very easy. Just go to like admob.com and create an account and paste it in there. But for me, I'm just going to test it. So I'll leave it like this. So after that, we're going to load an ad. So these two lines of code uh, request an ad and if one is available, it'll show up. So you can put this wherever you want. If you want it to happen right when the view loads, you put it in muted load. You could have it happen when you press a button or if you close out of a certain view or basically anything. So you could put this wherever you like, really. I think most people put in muted load. So as soon as a new screen comes up, some ads can come up. So just copy and paste that there. And now this is the part that actually shows the ad. That other part was just like uh, loading it. So my bad. Actually, you should always put this in the view to load. And this part that I'm about to paste can be put anywhere. I'm just going to put this here uh, for the tutorial purposes. But if you have like a button that you press that you want an ad to show as soon as you press the button, you can put it in that action or uh, anywhere else really. So this just is asking if there is an ad ready to be displayed and this line is just presenting it. And here you don't really need this, but it'll just tell you if there was like an error and there was no ad to display. So then uh, you want to be able to reload it. So the thing is, if you do it this way, this will give you one ad which for some people it might be okay. That's why I wanted to show this first. It's like the simpler way. Um, if you just put this code in here, the, one, the first time you load your view, it'll show an ad. So Google has another way to do it. So it can reload the ad so you can display it multiple times. So for this method, we're going to replace all of this with this. And then copy these two functions and place them here. So what this is doing is creating an interstitial and then also it'll load another one as soon as it creates that one so you can display another one. Uh, apparently we're not having the right delegate. You have to have the GAD interstitial delegate. Uh, so remember to put this line here too if you want to do it with this new method. There we go. So and then of course replace this with your own ID uh, once you got one. And that is about it for that. And then that's basically it for the basics. You can also have some functions like right here that will tell you if like it did fail to receive an ad or it will present the ad to the screen so you can customize it even more. But if you just want to display an ad, you could do the first method, which I showed at the beginning. But if you want to be able to display multiple ads in a succession, then you want to use the second method so you can reload one as soon as you use one. Um, so apparently we cannot test it with uh, a simulator. So uh, definitely try this out on your phone. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments or email me and I will try to clear it up for you. Thanks for watching this one guys. And I hope this gives you another way to monetize your apps. Uh, see you guys next time.